Only two more stages, then I'll get the cycle chip. Next up is Bubble Base by SC Minna. Thunder beats water after all. Uh, no secrets here. If I haven't made it apparent so far, my favorite chip is the flame chip, followed by the zap chip, then the cutter chip, then the ice chip. Dead by Bubble. Oh, I found the way to cheese toad, man. Again. Easy, perfect run. They follow a pattern of tree. Yep, I do. I just tend to read them a bit faster. Whoa. I already took the left route, let's take the bottom route. Any tank's not worth it.
Thanks, game. Unless you count the various comics or manga. Well, our manufacturer has gone insane. We won't be meeting him anytime soon. Well, someone's angry. At this point, I probably want to conserve E-Tanks. I'm worried how difficult Chapter 3 is going to be. Sorry we have to destroy you. Don't worry, we'll see you again in Magwell 2. The last but not least is Wicked Waterworks by Zildak. For those watching the LP version, I exit out of the stage because I want a CD. I made it past the point of no return. Don't go to the right until you get the CD. It leads to a checkpoint. I didn't want to do a stomp there because I may end up stomping to a pit. This is like the zap barrier from Super Fighting Robot. It even makes me float in water. For the appropriate enemies, the Zap Buster can actually stun them. This also applies to the Zap Burst. It doesn't stun them for long, however. All of them stun? That's good to know. Two of them, right, Wayne? First one was the Speed Over Saw Blades, the second one was Voltman's Factory. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hmm. Easy way. Whoa. That's going to result in one or two deaths. Let's do it. And it was because of that enemy not falling off. I'll take that. At last, after six or seven deaths, I may have passed at one screen. Oh no, it's in the reverse direction now. We made it to the boss. DW-01P. Reminds me of Rock and Roll's rendition. But with a different set of attacks. I have enough E-Tanks now, so... And that's that. Which means there's one more stage left before I get the Psycho Chip. And now we enter the Whale, in the flesh, by Maestro Sync. If you told me the previous stage is where I'd acquire the chip, I would believe you. Two more? This round feels like it's been nine levels already. This journey will be split into two episodes. Out of all the rounds, this feels like the longest one. The hardest one was the ice route. Zap was the easiest, followed by fire. You do have a point, Buster. All the stages so far have a boss battle. Well, this is not the case during the previous routes.
and it's not like it died more outside the previous stage. It also feels like the stages on average are longer. Okay then. These saber cuts you to pieces regardless. And here I taught these are instant dead. I have enough bolts for a double jump, which I will purchase in the next episode. You got me there. From Contra? No, you're not from Contra, you're from Gradius. You just rotated 90 degrees. Right, you're bleeding now. Goodbye, big shield. Sometimes... I feel the bosses should deal more damage to me, like one or two points more. We jump from the whale all the way to here. Space Jam by Big Fish and Sea Sketch. Based off the map, I thought the location of the final level of this round would actually be around the same place as the Sora base, but no, it's actually in space. In fact, initially, I thought this is where the Sora base would be located. If this was a special weapon in a Mega Man Classic game, this would be one of my favorite ones. It's just so handy.
Exactly, Buster. The Mega Man Classic series tends to be on the goofier side anyways. And in general, this game has been on the more serious side, especially in terms of a storyline. And Magma in general tends to be on the sillier side too. After all, it is a celebration of the fandom. Respect the basketball. Even the Baseline Classic series has quite a few silly elements. Magwell just takes it further. And do you know what the funny thing is? It currently has a legitimately decent story, with memorable characters and some character development. It really should have had double the health, or rather, not take 2 damage from my buster. There's a psycho chip. And that's the last of the 4 chips to acquire. I'll take care of that in the next episode, along with what's going on in the Sarara HQ. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.